<laughs> so he stabbed his wife. <laughs> now at five, a man crying in court after confessing to police that he killed his wife. The husband says he did it after getting jealous. The victim, a well-known transgender woman in the LGBTQ community. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Trina Robinson. I'm Shelly Muñiz. We want to take you to the jail where he is today. NBC6 reporter Laura Rodriguez has been there since five. Uh, Laura, talk to us about this horror story. Well, a judge ordered him held without bond, and in an arrest report, he allegedly told police meth, quote, screwed up his life. <laughs> Igor Arruda Sosa stood before a judge in tears, accused of murdering his wife, Yuni Kare. The 39-year-old transgender woman was a well-known drag entertainer and pageant queen in the LGBTQ plus community. She did a beautiful, beautiful job representing, uh, I guess, one of the beautiful part of the community, which is the performances and the art. According to police, Arruda Sosa called 911 Tuesday and said he stabbed his wife. When crime scene investigators arrived, they found a bloody knife and fork inside the Miami apartment near Northeast 14th Street. <laughs> From Cuba, the victim's brother told NBC6 he doesn't know what happened because the couple got along well. He says they plan to buy a house together. Talentosa, querida. Alexis Fernandez owns Azúcar Night Club where Unicare performed for more than five years. He says she was talented, loved by many, and looking forward to her first post-quarantine show on Sunday. There's a lot of people from the LGBT community that are currently experiencing domestic violence, but they don't feel that they have a place that they can go or that they, that they can call the police because there's a lot of stigma around our LGBT relationships. And the owner of Azúcar Nightclub also tells me they plan to do a special tribute for her on Friday and Sunday. Reporting in Northwest Miami-Dade, I'm Laura Rodriguez, NBC6 News.